More than 43,000 different species of spiders are found in the world. Of these, only a small number are said to be dangerous, and less than 30 have been responsible for human death. Their four pairs of eyes, eight legs, and generally ugly appearance makes them freaky creatures. Here are the top 20 most venomous spiders in the world. Brown Recluse Spider Brown recluse spiders are considered the most venomous spider in the United States. If bitten, victims could experience fever, convulsions, itching, nausea, and muscle pain. In extreme cases, they could also experience necrosis, death of the skin tissue. Brown recluse spider bites usually occur well indoors and as a defense mechanism if they are crushed or rolled over in bed. Some bites will present with only a uticarial rash. If the bite is more severe, the course usually is as follows. The initial bite will be painless, but over the subsequent two to eight hours, it will become increasingly painful. Wolf Spider This largest spider has prominent eyes that shine in the light. They range between a half inch and two inches long. Wolf spiders are usually gray with brown to dark gray markings. Wolf spider bites look like other bug bites. You may notice a red bump that's also itchy and swollen. It usually goes away within a few days. Unless you actually see the wolf spider bite you, it's usually difficult to determine what bit you. Black Widow Spider This venomous spider is responsible for more than 2,500 visits to poison control centers every year in the United States. It is one species that can be found in the United States and parts of Canada throughout Latin America and the West Indies. The most common member of Lactrodectus in North America, it makes its home in a variety of settings, such as woodpiles, burrows, or among plants that serve as supports for its webs. The female is shiny black and usually has a reddish to yellow hourglass design on the underside of the spherical abdomen. Sydney Funnel Web Spiders the spider sits in the narrow funnel waiting for prey to contact the web. When this happens, the spider rushes out and captures the insect prey at the funnel's mouth. Brown bulky spiders are much feared in southern and eastern Australia because of their venomous bites. Several human deaths from the bites of these venomous spiders have been reported in the Sydney area since the 1920s. An antidote to the main toxin in their venom has been developed which is effective if administered to victims soon after they have been bitten. Brown Widow Spider The Brown Widow Spider is thought to have evolved in Africa, but the first specimen described came from South America. It is classified as an invasive species elsewhere around the world. Brown Widow populations have appeared in Southern California, the Caribbean, the U.S. states of the Gulf Coast, as well as Japan, South Africa, and Madagascar, Australia, and Cyprus. The species makes its home in buildings, inside old tires and under automobiles, as well as among shrubs and other vegetation. Trapdoor Spider The bite of the trapdoor spider is of low risk to humans. It is a non-aggressive spider and is usually timid, however, it may stand up and present its fangs if harassed. Trapdoor spiders rarely bite, however, if they do, it can be very painful. Brown trapdoor spiders are often mistaken for funnel web spiders. However, their bite are not as dangerous. Local pain and swelling may occur. Sigillate trapdoor spider bites may also cause local pain and swelling. There is one report of an unspecified severe effects from a sigillate trapdoor spider bite. Six-eyed sand spider. It is a medium-sized spider with a body measuring 8 to 15 millimeters and legs spanning up to 50 millimeters, found in deserts and other sandy places in southern Africa. Due to its flattened stance and ladder-grade legs, it is also sometimes known as the six-eyed crab spider. Bites by Sicarius to humans are uncommon. They are no proven cases and only two suspected cases where the culprit was never identified. Sicarius bites have been experimentally shown as lethal to rabbits within 5 to 12 hours. One amazing fact is the genus named Sicarius is Latin for murderer from Sica, a curved dagger. Red Widow Spider The spider's appearance is distinguished from other widow spiders by its reddish cephalothorax and legs and its reddish brown to black colored abdomen. Many red widow spiders have a red mark on the underside of the abdomen, which may be either hourglass shaped, triangle shaped, or indistinct. The top of the abdomen is spotted red or orange, and each spot surrounded by a yellow or white outline. 
The leg span of an adult female is one and a half to two inches, whereas the male is only about a third of that size. Hobo spider. Hobo spiders were originally thought to cause horrible lesions if a human was bitten, but recently studies have dispelled this notion. While they are not considered medically threatening, their venom can cause redness, swelling, and twitching for several hours. Usually, these most dangerous spiders choose to hide in dark places and moist areas, such as wood piles, basements, retaining walls, large cracks, crevices, or other cavities in rock walls, foundations, or other constructions. They often have a light stripe running down the middle of their bodies. Noble False Widow one of the more poisonous spiders found in England, the noble false widow spider is the most venomous of three types of false widow spiders. Its bite causes pain, swelling, nausea, and fact is, if it becomes infected, it can lead to gangrene. Although false widows do have a venomous bite, the venom is not particularly potent. Usually, the only symptom is pain at the site, which may radiate away from the bite. It ordinarily lasts between 1 and 12 hours, and rarely more than 24 hours. Often, the symptoms are no worse than the pain of a wasp sting. Redback Spider It's native to Australia, but it has spread to New Zealand, Belgium, and Japan through grape exports. The spider often builds nests and webs on grape leaves and inside bunches. This one of the most poisonous spiders is widespread through Australia, living in all of the continent's varied environments, except for its hottest deserts and frigid mountaintops. The species is also found in urban areas, frequently making nests in human dwellings. The redback is identified by its prominent red stripe or hourglass-shaped mark on its black-colored back. This mark is more noticeable on female redbacks than on males. White-tailed spider The venom from the white-tailed spider is listed as non-lethal. It has not been shown to cause necrotic ulcers, which could result in the need for amputation. And there has never been any clear evidence necrotizing arachnidism, the name given to a syndrome where the skin blisters and ulcerates following spider bites, has been seen in Australia. There is currently no clinical test to determine if you have been bitten by a spider, and there is no blood or swab test that can be performed to positively identify what spider it is if a bite is suspected. Scotophaeus black wally. This species is widespread in Britain and Northern Europe. They are commonly found in Britain, around and inside houses, usually in the autumn, and also under bark and in holes and walls in warmer parts of Europe. It hunts nocturnally. The adult males of these spiders reach 9 mm in length, maturing in the early summer, while females reach 12 mm and can be found until autumn. The carapace is dark brown, while the abdomen is brown or gray, with hairs resembling the body of a mouse. Catapo spider. Native to New Zealand, the catapo spider is endangered. Only the female is capable of biting a person, but their bite isn't thought to be lethal, but rather unpleasant. By unpleasant, we include symptoms like abdominal cramping, sweating, fever, and shaking. Catapo bites are very uncommon, and while likely to be unpleasant, are not likely to prove lethal. Typical symptoms include pain at the site of the bite, may spread to other areas, becoming more intense over the hours that follow. Cupboard Spider The cupboard spider isn't known to be dangerous to humans. For most people, their reactions to venom are similar to a wasp sting. However, there have been a few cases where more serious symptoms were recorded. The female cover spider could be easily mistaken for a red back spider, but lacks the distinctive red stripe on the back. Both spiders are from the same family, Theridiitae, so they are closely related. However, the covered spider is not considered as dangerous as its red back relative. Chilean recluse spider. While death resulting from their bites is very uncommon, the Chilean recluse spider can cause serious symptoms such as skin irritation and death of skin cells. The application of an ice pack helps as first aid because the venom is more active at high temperatures. Applying aloe vera may soothe and help control the pain. The spider should be brought with the patient in a clear, tightly closed container for identification if it can be captured. The Chilean recluse spider is native to South America. Tiger Wandering Spider The tiger wandering spider is similar to the Brazilian wandering spider. It has a complex neurotoxic venom and is known to cause severe pain, among other symptoms, upon biting. 
This is probably a female at about 3.5 centimeter body length. Its most conspicuous feature is the pale marking on the abdomen. This one of the biggest spiders is gray and brown in color with darker longitudinal stripes on the cephalothorax and dark bands on the first segment of the legs. Its venom has been extensively studied for its bactericidal and insecticidal properties. Yellow Sack Spider A rare complication can occur when bitten by one of these spiders is rotting of the flesh. Yellow Sack Spider venom contains cytotoxin, which can create necrosis in the bite wound. For this reason, bites from yellow sack spiders are often mistaken for the bite of a brown recluse. It is important to understand that brown recluse venom is much more potent than the venom of a yellow sack spider. One interesting fact is for some people, this anima bite can be completely painless. Red-headed mouse spider. Female red-headed mouse spiders have been found to produce copious amounts of highly toxic venom, which is potentially as dangerous as that of the Sydney funnel web spider. Mouse spider venom may be toxic, but very few cases of serious envenomation have been recorded. Other bites have occurred causing minor effects. Funnel web spider antivenom has proved effective in the one confirmed case. Until more toxicity data is available, it is prudent to treat as for funnel web spider bite, especially if the victim is a child. What is the most dangerous spider? Have you ever seen any of them? Let us know in the comments section. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.